Students here at Byer High School are working on all sorts of projects, but there's one in particular that's helping change lives. 13 years ago, while on a mission in the Middle East, Army veteran Jose Harigi's life changed forever. His company came under fire by the enemy. Our tank got hit with a rocket and it blew up. I was inside, um, all our gunpowder and all our all our ammunition kind of blew up. 75% of Harigi's body was burnt. He lost most of his left hand. He also lost the use of his right hand. Now the Bayer High School's robotics team is stepping up to help. It's almost indescribable being able like to see that you're making a change not only for someone but hopefully to help change the community in the process. The students have come up with a prototype that started on a 3D printer. The team is in the process of making a prosthetic hand to allow Harigi to play softball again. Going into it, didn't really know much. It was hard to figure everything out. That's why we had to go through the second attempt making sure that the numbers were right. In their first attempt, students used an open source, but they could not adapt the design to fit Harigi's needs. Students redesigned the prosthetic hand, and for the first time, he was fitted for the new hand that would allow him to do just about anything. I think it'd be amazing. I, this is just the beginning, really. I mean, it's advancing so fast. And the students are still working on the prosthetic. They plan to take more measurements and include new data they collected before things are finalized.